What's going on guys? Plenty of sport logos have a so-called hidden meaning somewhere within them, but some of them are so well known that they're not really hidden anymore. For example, a large portion of football fans know about the hidden E in the Philadelphia Eagles logo, and they're aware of the F-shaped Falcon on the logo of the Atlanta Falcons football team. Many believe the H in the Montreal Canadiens logo stands for Habs, their famous nickname. It actually stands for hockey. The C and H logo stands for the Lake Club Day Hockey Canadiens, and now you know. And plenty of football fans know about the Pittsburgh Steelers logo. Now, the yellow represents coal, orange represents the oars, and blue represents steel scrap. Hence the name Steelers for a team that plays in the Steel City. It's pretty easy. So yeah, some of these hidden meanings within these logos are actually hidden, and others, not so much. When it comes down to college football, there are a handful of hidden meanings and logos that many of you probably never noticed, even though they were right in front of your faces all this time. We're not just talking about team logos, but leagues and bowl game logos as well. We're here to give you a fun history lesson. And if you caught onto these hidden meanings in the past, well, we tip our hat to you. Before we reveal the answers, pay close attention to each logo and see if you could figure out the hidden meaning. And if you can't, well, we're gonna explain it to you, so yeah. So let's get into it. Make sure to subscribe to TPS and put on your notifications. We post videos all the time, new videos all the time. Number 12, Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. I gotta be honest, this certainly was the tastiest college bowl game, if you catch my drift. Sure you do. Unfortunately for us tortilla chips and salsa lovers, Frito-Lay announced in June 2014 that they would no longer continue their association with Tostitos for the Fiesta Bowl. Frito-Lay reportedly said the decision was made so that they could look at different strategies for marketing. Yeah, and Sony and Disney couldn't make a deal because Kevin Feige was too busy. For 18 years, from 1996 to 2014, we were treated to, again, a very tasty bowl game name. And hey, there was that very tasty looking logo that carried a hidden meaning that many of us never noticed until recently. Take a look at the I in Tostitos, as well as the two T's. You'll notice there are two people holding up a tortilla chip above a bowl of salsa. Yeah, Tostitos found a way to really promote their brand in that logo. Vizio sponsored the Fiesta Bowl in 2014, followed by Battlefrog for one year in 2016. Since December of that year, PlayStation has been the sponsor of the Fiesta Bowl. And unless we're missing something, uh, there doesn't appear to be any hidden meaning in the current Fiesta Bowl logo. Number 11, Missouri Western State Griffins. You might not be too familiar with the Missouri Western State Griffins. They're a Division II team, and they participate in the Mid-American Intercollegiate Athletics Association. Try to say that 10 times fast. Los Angeles Rams kicker Greg Zerline attended this school. Now take a close and careful look at the Griffins logo. There's no Harry Potter references or anything, so don't get excited. For those of you who are good at geography, you may have noticed that the Griffin depicts the shape of Missouri. This logo isn't only significant because of the special way it pays homage to the state of Missouri, but according to Medium.com, the school sports director of the 70s, Jerry Myers, had one of his pals create the Griffin logo. This was then used to help recruit students from outside the university. The school rolled with the name Griffins, and the beloved Max the Griffin mascot was born. Number 10, Washington State Cougars. Washington State isn't the only NCAA team with the Cougars name. The Houston Cougars exist as well, and their logo is pretty simple. I mean, without even knowing the team by heart, you could just look at the logo and see a Cougar right away. It's, it's, it's so simple. But imagine not knowing anything about the Washington State Cougars. Somebody presents a logo and asks you to guess their name. It's nearly impossible to guess. I mean, it almost looks like a knockoff of the Chicago Blackhawks logo. Okay, well, actually you can see the whiskers and the open mouth, but did you notice the letters W, S, and C in the logo? There you have it. The school name initials are right there in the shape of a cougar. Debate all you want if it's pretty. We've definitely seen better. But give them credit for coming up with something tremendously creative here. Number nine, college football playoffs. In 2014, NCAA began the current playoff format where four teams would meet and vie for the national championship. The two semifinal showdowns take place every year to determine the winner. I mean, maybe one day they'll just put Alabama in the finals by default, uh, then put Clemson versus Ohio State in the lone semifinal matchup. That's aside the point though. The college football playoffs logo looks like nothing special. Just a football shape with the four laces in the middle. But the four laces represent the final four teams that are clashing for the national title. According to the college football playoffs, the two gold brackets surround a virtual football and allude to the championship trophy. Also good to know. In case you didn't know, there was also a voting contest to determine the logo. Have a look at the other three nominees here. Nothing too fancy. We're not going to ever complain about a logo with some creativity. So we're glad they took this one. Number eight, George Washington University Colonials. At first glance, the logo for George Washington University seems to be the simple GW initials. Nice gold and navy colors and all. Lots of teams just use initials for their logos. Pretty boring. But even history buffs probably struggle to notice the hidden meaning in this logo. Take a very close look at the W. 
and you'll find the Washington Monument that's located in the nation's capital. This well-known landmark was designated in 1966, and the university decided to adopt the landmark as part of their logo. On a side note, maybe optometrists in DC should use this logo during vision tests to see if their patients can spot it. Number seven, University of Miami Hurricanes. Unless you attend the University of Miami, there's a very strong chance that you don't know the story behind the logo. I mean, how many universities are there in the United States? A lot. So why would anybody adopt the U for university? Well, it's a cool story for the Hurricanes. The school had different logos for many years, maintaining the green and orange colors. But in the 70s, the school decided it was time to change things up. A Miami-based designer who helped create the Miami Dolphins NFL logo constructed the legendary Hurricanes U logo. So what's the story? The U stood for slogans such as, you gotta believe. You moving forward. And the classic, you was great. That one letter then swept across the school. It's even become common for students at Miami to form a U shape with their hands during games. Number six, University of Hawaii. Okay, this looks like nothing more than a simple H, which obviously stands for Hawaii. So what's the story? According to the University Athletics website, the H also stands for Ha which means to breathe in Hawaiian. It also outlines as follows on the website. Breathe, the spirit of life passed on to us from one person to another, generation to generation, with its lessons and success. Oh, that's so nice. Also, the triangles on the Rainbow Warriors logo carry a special meaning. They represent the body, mind, and spirit. In ancient Hawaiian culture, all three values need each other. That is, neither the body, mind, or spirit would work without the other. Number five, Eastern Washington Eagles. Eastern Washington University is the alma mater for well-known sports journalist Colin Cowherd and Los Angeles Rams star wide receiver Cooper Cup. The Eastern Washington Eagles logo carries a special hidden meaning like the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles. As we mentioned earlier, there's a hidden E in the Eagles logo, while Eastern Washington's logo of the Eagle carries red and black colors. Take a look at the red part of the Eagle and you'll see the letters EWU, which obviously stands for Eastern Washington University. Uh, I suppose the E and W are easy to make out, but it's easy to overlook the U. Number four, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff Golden Lions. It was founded in 1873. It's one of the smaller schools that's part of the NCAA. In September 2016, the school announced an enrollment of 2,821. So yeah, it's not the biggest and most well-known university in the United States. UAPB was home to a handful of NFL players. The Golden Lions play in the West Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. They also won the conference championship in 2012. Anyway, uh, the Golden Lions have a logo that depicts, well, you know, a lion that happens to be golden. Can you believe it? A golden lion. Brilliant. But it could take somebody hours to finally catch on to the hidden meaning in this very logo. Take a look from left to right, and you can make out the letters U, A, P, and B, the initials of the school. Number three, Big Ten Conference. Being named the Big Ten Conference, this Division I conference was once home to, you guessed it, 10 teams. In 1990, the Penn State Nittany Lions joined the conference, but the decision was made to keep the Big Ten name. So how did the NCAA go about changing the logo? It still reads Big Ten Conference, but did you notice the odd shape in the T? You'll notice there is a number one on both sides of the T, which depicts the number 11. That, of course, was to pay homage to the fact that the Big Ten was now the Big Big 11. Boom. But yeah, I mean, still kind of funny that they kept the name Big Ten uh, when it was really the Big 11. At least the logo acknowledged the Nittany Lions. It's nice. Number two, Hofstra Pride. Hofstra Pride is actually literally like 10 minutes away. My girlfriend actually went to Hofstra, just so you know. Shout out to Tara. Please don't break up with me. I went to the uh, community college next to Hofstra, but I transferred. I went to a good school, just not Hofstra. Yeah, they have presidents go there. Hofstra University in Hempstead, New York has the logo that looks somewhat similar to that of the Buffalo Sabres. Except the pride have a very special meaning inside their logo, which seems pretty unnoticeable at first glance. But it's anything but fairly average once you get to know the story. As everyone knows, pride is a term used to describe a group of lions and a group of fabulous young men. Well, Hofstra's logo depicts more than one lion, hence it's a pair of lions. So they called it the Pride. Interestingly, Hofstra's old team name was actually the Flying Dutchman. The school was named after William S. Hofstra, a well-known American lumber who was born to Dutch immigrants. The team name was eventually changed to Pride. In the 1980s, the school had two lion mascots, one male and one female. It's diverse, I like that. So it made sense to change their name to Pride. There's your story, now go tell your friends. 
and I'll tell my girlfriend because she probably didn't know that. So seriously, don't break up with me. Number one, Oregon Ducks. The logo looks all so simple at first. Hey, look, it's just an O. The initial for Oregon. Notice the U shape inside the O? Well, that depicts the shape of Hayward Field at Oregon campus. This field has been used by the school's track and field team for a century. It's one of the most famous track and field venues in the world. And it carries an important piece of the Ducks history. The Oregon football team played at Hayward Field before moving to their new stadium in 1967, where the Ducks have been playing their home games ever since. Still, Hayward Field has plenty of historic significance for the football team. And it's only fitting that the logo pays homage to its first ever venue. But that's only half the logo. The O represents their new stadium, which is in the same shape. Take a look at the stadium overhead, and you can just see it so perfectly clear. Aren't logos fascinating? What other college logos have hidden meanings? Join me in the comments section below. Make sure to follow myself and Total Pro Sports on social media. We post great content all the time, all the time. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, because you know what? You should, that's why. And then you know what else you should do? You know what else? You know what else you should do? You watching right now? Do you know what you should do? Subscribe. Thank you. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Biondo. I'll see you next time. My knee.